It's a great day for a drive, especially in a 2022 Edge ST Line in agate black. It has black Activex seats, which is man-made, no animal products, and seating for five, four doors, and a hatch. And it has a two-liter EcoBoost engine. It's paired with an eight-speed automatic transmission, and it's an all-wheel drive. It also has the Ford Copilot 360, which includes adaptive cruise control, as well as stop and go and lane centering and it has a panoramic moonroof, class two trailer tow hitch, as well as navigation. It's really easy to get into this vehicle and take it out on a test drive. You can book that online at islandford.ca. Stay tuned, we're gonna have a look under the hood and inside and out. This is a two liter EcoBoost engine. It's paired with an eight speed automatic transmission and it's an all wheel drive. Let's have a look inside in the door as well as power locks windows and mirrors the driver's seat is powered with lumbar your passenger seat is also powered your lighting controls are located here and the power lift gate is here on the face of the steering wheel is your dash controls adaptive cruise control with lane centering your media controls volume and hands-free dialing you also have paddle shifters this is one on the left and the other ones on the right. Now the keys in my pocket, foot's on the brake, and we're gonna push the engine start stop button. On your dash, any important messages will appear, your odometer reading, and you'll also have two menu menus. We're gonna go into the left-hand side, display mode, trip one and two, fuel economy, driver assist, settings, and these all have submenus. On the right-hand side, we have our entertainment, navigation, and phone and they also have submenus. In the center, you've got a little cubby up top and you've got this nice display screen. It's a touch screen and right now it's showing Apple CarPlay. We can go in to different functions here and I'm just gonna show you dual climate control as well. You have the cold weather package, which means you have a heated steering wheel and heated seats. And we're just gonna touch on the car and it gives you the different options here. You can actually change the look of the display and we can go in and look at the different options in here, radio, navigation, media, media, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, your owner's manual's in there as well. And if we go into the radio, we're gonna see the different options. And here it is, AM, FM, Sirius Satellite Radio. And we can actually turn down the volume on our steering wheel if we want, and we can also do it there. So this is just touching on different options to go into what you wanna do. Now, when we put the vehicle in reverse, we're gonna see our backup camera view. So those white lines are the steering wheel as you turn it, and the dotted line is your center line. Green, yellow, red is how close you're approaching when going in reverse to other objects or vehicles. I'm gonna put us back into park for safety's sake. And then down below, volume and tuner, hazard lights, there's your camera view. There you go again. And then down below, you've got a USB, USB-C, and you also have a wireless charging pad. There's your dial shifter, electronic parking brake, and your auto stop start for less idle time. Couple of cup holders. Your armrest opens up, and inside, you've got this nice little bin. It's got finger holds in here. So you just put your fingers on either side, pull it out. Lots of room down there. And we're just gonna close that up. Off to the side is your glove compartment. Up top, you have an auto dimming rear view mirror. There's your lighting controls, sunglass holder, universal garage door opener, and we have this nice panoramic moonroof. So we can tilt and slide the glass open on that. And we also have the ability to power the screen across. So you can control light and air. And there's a grab handle on the passenger side. That just makes it easier to get in. 20 inch wheels and you have intelligent access in the body color door handle. And that means when the fob's in close proximity, you can lock and unlock the doors and you have keyless entry keypad, driver's side, capless, easy fuel gas filler. You've got a spoiler and a windshield wiper and just below the edge badge is where your backup camera's located, backup sensors on your bumper. And you also have a class two trailer tow hitch. And when we want to open up that hatch, we can do it by putting our hand in the latch. We can release it from inside, but we can also double click our fob. And then that just powers it open for us. And you're seeing the extra carpeted and all weather mats. And you see that nice stitching on there and you'll see that on the seats as well. And you've got bins and lights and clips to be able to tether things. You also have a 12 volt and the power seats right and left for the rear seats. When we lift this up, you've got your spare tire and your funnel and a little bit of storage space under there. And then when you're ready to close it all up, there's a handle on the right, but you can also push the button on the left. And then it just chimes to let you know that it's going down securely and then lock it up and walk away or jump in and head out on your latest adventure. And on your fob, you have remote start. 
second speaker in the door as well as power windows. They're seating for three in the back with a 60-40 split. You simply bring the seat down by pulling the lever at the side here. And you now have access to the back cargo area. You're seeing extra carpeted and all weather mats. There's anchors on the back of the seat to be able to tether baby seats. And then just give it a push back into the upright position. In the center is an armrest with a couple of cup holders, slim pockets on the back of the front seat, air vents, a little cubby, 12 volt USB USB-C, that panoramic moonroof, handles and LED tail lights, privacy glass in the back windows with window vents, blind spot information system in your side view mirrors daytime running lights, fog lights, and so many more reasons to visit us. If you like this video and would like to see more, please subscribe. We have plenty to share with you and we'd love to hear your comments.